Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Get done. Your car is there something in the car? Like a gasoline or something? Can you open on the trunk? Okay. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Did you open it up? It's your car. It's your car. Here. Here you go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. Okay. Jamie Kennedy Experiment, starring Jamie Kennedy. Tonight, meet Jamie's parents. I'm a mistake. No, you are. Ethan Phillips from Star Trek Voyager. The idea sucks. <laughs> a political scandal? Did you spend campaign money, Rick? Yes. And look out, Richard Simmons. Hi, ho, Silver. <laughs> Thank you so much, and welcome to the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Thank you. All right, now, people often ask me, Jamie, why do you do a show like this? What drives you to torture helpless people all day? <laughs> so I said, don't ask me, let's ask the people who created me, my parents. Please welcome. Bobby and Josie Kennedy. <laughs> hi, hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Are you all right? I'm ready right to hear yeah, it. Hold on, you're blocking my camera. Oh, of course. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you're blocking her camera. <laughs> I'm not sorry about that. How was your flight in? Flight was, flight cool. was fine. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful flight, yeah. That beautiful flight? Yeah, beautiful flight, yeah. yeah. Where are you guys going tomorrow? Going to Hawaii. We're going to going Maui. Hawaii. And who's sending you there? You are. Yeah. The reason why I probably do this show is because you guys are pranksters yourselves, aren't yeah, you? You're not going next, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, there's no X. <laughs> I'm so scared. One, one Christmas, he he was mischievous and everything. This was this Christmas. You said, you little complainer, you little brat. <laughs> so tell him what you did, Mom. I got a big uh, trash bag and filled it up with coal and, and gave it to you. And boy, you were very upset. <laughs> <laughs> We had coal all over the house. <laughs> he threw a fit like you wouldn't believe. We had everything, but we gave it to him later. But he was not happy. Well, camp. Well, <laughs> can I ask you a question? Go right in. How should a seven-year-old react? <laughs> <laughs> There's a big distance between me and Patty, which five, is five, five years. years. That's yeah. not. That's yeah. not. But everybody mean. else is one and two years. Yeah. Yeah. So let's be honest. I wasn't invited to this party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mistake. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not a mistake. All right, well, I was out in Hollywood for five years, and I, you know, I didn't want to get any help, and they would just send me every month, they would send me a little check with mail, and without that money, I wouldn't have been able to be here with you. Oh, so. you made it. You made it. I love you guys. <laughs> Watch some bits, all right. You guys sit over the couch. All right. And uh, let's keep my face. Right this. Star Trek girls are so easy. You know what I mean? If they see call them Star Trek sluts. Now, in this 
next piece, we got together a focus group of hardcore Star Trek fans. We gave them a chance to sit around and talk Trek. Now, I play a poser who claims to be a Trekkie. The experiment, how long will it take before I get the Shatner kicked out of me? <laughs> Follow me, please. If you guys want to just go ahead and find your name tags on the table and have a seat. Now, remember, these people have been recruited because of their incredible passion and knowledge of every Star Trek series. And those are exactly the two things that my character doesn't have, passion or knowledge. Uh, thanks for coming. Are you all Star Trek fans? That's the most important question. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nice to see you. Um, I'm an executive at uh, Paramount in charge of the Star Trek series now and where it goes from here. And what we wanted to do was take a time with with the fans. I like to look at it as you're driving the ship, and who better to drive the ship than the fans? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. All aboard. And there's a special treat. I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a cast member come in and talk to you as well? Yeah, yeah so this guy, uh, you recognize him. It's not Kirk. Kirk. Uh, from, no, it's not. It's uh, Kirk. From the Voyager series, he played uh, Neelix. You know the character? Yeah. Ethan Phillips is right here. So give a warm welcome, give him a hand. Yeah. Ethan. Kirk. Kirk. Hey, yeah. Nice to Good. see you. Thanks for coming. I really yeah. appreciate it. So here's the story. We're going to do like a little think tank here, and, and, and you're cool to help in. Totally. I'll do whatever That's perfect. I can. perfect. Great. Yeah. First question out is, do you see this Star Trek as just a TV show? No. Everyone in the world can associate it with uh, a lifestyle almost, you know? There's actually a Star Trek town in Virginia, I think. <laughs> They're Star living Trek? by weird. Star Trek. All <laughs> it's also just like a TV show, too, and it's just, it just is a TV show, though. <laughs> right, right. Everyone Loves Raymond's a TV show. Just, just ask the people, what's your favorite, what's favorite you, show? My sentimental favorite is the original series, because that's what I fell in love with. Okay, good. The first series, the original, mm -hmm. I, I thought was the worst. It didn't really have any memorable special effects. But that adds really such fun. charm to it, you know? I mean, it, it, But it looks yeah, stupid and fake, don't you? Well, now, I mean, by our standards, now it looks stupid, but... Tell me one good character from the first series. Spock. One good character. Well, talk about that. Well, I, 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 I was Spock for Halloween. I had... I so had was the, I. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, he was so foreign and so, like... A good character is Woody from Cheers. <laughs> He looks great with the ears. Yeah, let, let's, let's try to stay on Star Trek. Um, what, how about favorite alien? Ahura. Ahura? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Ahura. The Black Lady. Yeah, she was not, she was not an alien. Yeah, she was. No, 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 she was human. No, she had weird, she had weird ears and weird nose. She had weird ha hairdo, I think. Yeah. <laughs> what, was your, what was your character, Felix? <laughs> Felix, no, it was Neelix. Neelix. Was he gay? <laughs> was he gay? Yeah. Uh, no, no. But you were, you were like a horse. <laughs> let's, let's move on here. Uh, um, I want to go back to that question. If you could say one thing to a character, what would you say? Thank you. To whom? To which Just character? for all of them. I mean, for all yeah. of them, what they did. Yeah. You know? what, did, what did Zulu do for you? His name was Sulu. Okay. <laughs> what did... And... Sulu do for you. Let's, let's move on here. I'm wondering if there are anything, any examples in your life where the show has just inspired you to make either some decision in your life? I went to the Star Trek convention and I, and I met a girl. And like the thing at those conventions are, the girls, the Star Trek girls are so easy. You know what I mean? It's like, they should call them Star Trek sluts. Beam them in the bed. I mean, you know what you should do, seriously? It's an open discussion, okay. and I'm yeah, sorry. No, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Like, the first series, forget that. Throw that in the star bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and what you should do is, you need to get in touch with the younger demographic, OK? So Wesley Crusher gets transported in time, and he goes back to high school, OK? So. It's like Star Trek High. This isn't the WB. I mean, uh, no. Who watches that? Not me. Exactly. Yeah, I no one does. Case. Especially on Thursday. <laughs> you take Wesley Crusher. He gets zits. No makeup. No makeup. He looks great. 
You know, I like this idea of a younger demographic being pulled in. Well, they originally, there, mm -hmm. there was a, a, a an oh, I don't mean to interrupt you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you come with me for yeah. a sec? I want to just quickly talk with Leon. Just, you, you guys keep talking. I just want to. I have this idea. Man, I don't want to pull me out of here. No, I'm not, no, I want to run this thing, Mike. Come here for a second. That is the worst idea for a Star Trek <laughs> film <laughs> that I have ever heard <laughs> in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, it's so bogus. I mean, are you guys, I mean, am I right? Is that Oh, correct? you're absolutely right, right yes. <laughs> All right, so I'll call back. Hey, What's so, up, Jack? well, I just, I think that uh, he had a really great idea, I think, for. That's a horrible <laughs> idea. High school? I like Leon's idea so much that I called Rick Berman. Just so you know, Rick Berman is the executive producer of the entire Star Trek franchise, and he's a god to these guys. What you can and Rick Berman loved the idea. And we, actually, he's talking to me you know, <laughs> in the office right now, because... In my personal opinion, that guy's crazy. I think he he's, he's mentally wrong. unstable. He had some facts wrong. But he, wrong? He, he did. <laughs> yeah, he wrong? He called him a gay horse, for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> no. Welcome back. Clearly, there's something there. I think there's something to this idea. The idea sucks. He actually said on the phone was saying yeah. how he thought you would be great as the principal on the show. That's actually kind of interesting. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You, 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 we can always use it in a gay character. That would be great. Dude, the Millennium Falcon is never going to be the same. It sounds like Star Trek destruction. Star Trek. Hello. Okay, well, how about... How about Star Trek, the X generation? You know, it's because it, all you guys have been X'd. You're on my hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. There's the camera here! There's the camera here! There's the camera here! Here you go! Here you go! What are you exactly? I don't feel very comfortable about you. And that's honest. Although I don't feel very comfortable with you, Phil. <laughs> The last thing that you want to do is get your name in the tabloids. So we found an actual politician, Rick Dinger, <laughs> who was running for city council in Glendale, California, home of the raisin. <laughs> Rick set up some of his campaign supporters who thought that they were coming to a fundraising event. Now, the experiment is, how will they react when the fundraiser turns out to be an intervention? Hey guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, I guess it's sort of a normal phenomenon with uh, with politics. I've had some some negative stuff hit me, and uh, Paul uh, was brought in by my consultant to uh, talk to me, and, and and basically now that you guys are here, uh, help out. My name is Paul, Dr. Paul Picardo. Have a seat back, Rick. And Rick is having some problems with his campaign, and he has gotten into gambling. He has a bit of a debt. It's $90,000. Basically, this is an intervention. That's why you guys are here today. Rick, do you want to tell us a little bit about your problem? Well, I'd go to, I'd tell Heather I'd go to D.C. or, uh, or New Orleans for the insurance stuff, News Vegas. I need to go to Vegas. The blonde being consoled is Rick's wife, Heather. She's also in on it. And, you know. But get honest. Did you spend campaign money, Rick? Yes. How much? 20,000. 20,000. Hello? What? I, what? Rick? Rick? OK, it's OK. It's OK. All right. He's having a nervous breakdown. Are you affiliated with, with Rick's political aspirations, or is this separate from that? My business is getting Rick well. Let's give him a round of applause. You know, Rick, this is something that you can overcome. This is you good. We need positive reinforcement. The important thing for you is to get better, yes. to get well. 
Rick. <laughs> Rick. Okay, all right. Go, Becky. He has a problem. And I need everyone to get honest and to get real about him, support him. Let's give him a round of applause. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. One thing is the strength in numbers, and what I'd like you all to do is I'm going to say a word, and I'd like you to shout that word at Rick very positively. The word is hope. Okay, so on the count of three, I want you to say hope. All right. One, two, three. Hope. Oh. Oh. Great. Another word. Love. Okay. One, two, three. Love. Love. Another word. Hooray. One, two, three. Hooray. 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 Simon, I'm not Phil. I'm sorry. One, two, three. Hooray. Great. Are you feeling? Okay. All right. Great. What are you exactly? I don't feel very comfortable about you. And that's honest. Other than I don't feel very comfortable with you, Phil. <laughs> Let's give him a round of applause. Very yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you want me to leave? We're just confused. We're just confused. We're just trying to clarify where you're at. Now let's really turn up the heat and bring in our actress playing Simone, Rick's special friend. Good morning. I think you two have met. It's time to get honest. Do you want to state your name, please? I'm Simone. This is Simone. Why don't you tell the rest? She's who I was meeting in Vegas. And gambling. Gambling and hookers. You might not have thought. That's the first step of getting honest. Heather, how do you feel about this? I thought we were going to keep this part out of this room. Oh, so my. That's... Oh, right. There you go. Oh, yes. I mean, I don't think we need to ask Heather on the spot how she feels. Yeah. I mean, it'd be pretty obvious how she I feels mean, to most women. She's pregnant. It's quite a blow. Sake. What are you doing? Pregnant. And when honest. you find out your husband, well, you know, has been cheating, I mean, that's time. a big blow. It's almost like. I, I think oh. that that should be kept quiet. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. You know, what I think the, what we're facing here is um, Rick having a problem and how he has to solve it. Yeah, so here's okay. what we're going to do. But if you can't help me, I'm and then, confused. if you can't help, then I'm going to have to ask you. <laughs> You've all been asked. You're on my hidden camera show. It's called the <laughs> Action <laughs> Squad <laughs> right here. Hey, oh, what are you doing with my wife? So good. She just wanted to stretch. I'm angry. <laughs> Working out is hard. That's why we hooked up this guy, T-Bone, with me, George Sherman, <laughs> the toughest personal trainer in the business. The experiment, how hard can my program get? How are you? And will T-Bone take it like a man? Yeah. You do like boxing? That's what I like. Yeah. Boxing. Here, you want to box? <laughs> like that, throw a punch. You want to do that? <laughs> it sounds like a box like that, man. No. Nice sit up. Hello. <laughs> hello. You can say hello back. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yeehaw. Hi ho, Silver. Two seconds. Now it's time for me to take a little break. But as T-Bone continues his workout, we send in this hot actress who just happens to be playing my wife. Are you training with George? Yeah, man. Will you help me stretch real quick? I don't, I don't know if you're in your routine, sure. but I just, if you could pull my arm. It's, I'm so sore right here. Good. But, oh. Hey! Hey, oh, what are you doing with my wife? So good. 
I don't know, man. I'm just, he just said I wanted to stretch and, uh, you know. Is that you and your, your boxing move? Baby, don't fight. I'm angry. <laughs> he makes me want to fight. You look at my wife like she's a piece of hamburger she's meat. Hot, man. Do you know how I got her? That's because I X'd her. Just like I X'd you. You've been X'd. Okay. And he's on my hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Yeah. No way. No way. No way. Keep my applauding. You're applauding me. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, do you guys have anything you want to say to America? We always say, God bless you, good night, and have a good day tomorrow. Well, that's good, <laughs> Mom. Same. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Hmm?